Hi and welcome back. In this video, we're going to begin to talk about some of the other view controllers that are used to control scenes in storyboards in iOS applications. And they're also used to, obviously, to control uh, zip files and uh, the view controllers that deal with those. There is no difference in these view controllers. There is a difference in how they're compiled, whether we're uh, in a storyboard setting or in a zip file setting. So today we're going to talk about, in this video, a UI navigation controller and how to set up a simple project that just shows a couple of scenes in a storyboard and navigation in between them. So we're going to begin with a single view application template, just so that we get the storyboard. And I'm going to call this navigation, and we'll be using storyboards, and I'll click next. <coughs> I'll save it here in the Chapter 4 video file folder. And now I want to look at my main storyboard. In a single view controller, I'm just going to get a view controller scene. Now I'm going to select this and delete it. The only reason I did a single view controller template is to get the storyboard file here. I'm going to drag out a navigation controller. And we can see that a navigation controller comes with a table view. So if I drag this out to my scenes area, whoops, now I'll drag it to the screen. Might be easier. I'm going to get a navigation controller <coughs> and a table view controller. We're not going to be talking about table views today. So I'm going to grab this table view controller and delete it. Entirely. And now I'm left with my navigation controller. Now, a navigation controller is a container for other view controllers. It maintains an array of child view controllers. The, it maintains a special pointer to a child view controller that's known as its root view controller. So let's go ahead and set up a root view controller for this navigation controller. I'm going to drag out a view controller object. And then I'm going to wire the navigation controllers root view controller to this view controllers object and now I can see that its root view controller is view controller this does a couple of things for us the first is is it sets up a root view controller a controller that will be whose view will be displayed when the navigation controller runs and the second thing it does is in that view controller it gives us a title bar so let's just go ahead and set this title bar to first view and now when I run my application I'll see that the only thing I really see I'm not going to see the navigation controller but I'm going to see the navigation controllers title bar and it's going to say first view so as soon as this comes up And there we go. We still don't have any navigation yet. We need another view controller for that. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to drag out another view controller object and drop it here. If I back out, I'll see what I've got here. Let's just go ahead and align this third view controller with the other two. And now I'm going to need a way to get from the first view to the second. And I can just use a button for that. I'm going to drop a button onto my first view controller. And while we're here, we'll change the color of that view. Maybe a nice blue color or green. And then I'm going to change the color of this view to maybe this color. Well, that's not that different, is it? Let's try something a little bit blue. There we go just so that we can see the difference. Now, just as dragging a segue from any other view controller, <coughs> I'm going to hold down cl uh, control, click on my button, and drag it to this second view controller. And then I'm going to assign a push segue. Now, a push segue is used with navigation controllers to push new scenes on top of the view controller. 
will pop the scenes off by clicking in the navigation bar on the little back button that gets created in subsequent view controllers after the root view controller. So if I click the push segue, this is going to create that segue. You can see from the first view scene to this scene, I have a push segue from button to view controller. Now, lastly, notice what that segue did. It was made a member of the navigation controller, uh, the navigation controller's controllers array, view controllers array, and it got a title bar. So now we're going to call this second view. Like that. And now this view controller is called second view scene. So that changed. So now when I run my application, I'm going to see first view. When I click the button, it's going to segue to the second view scene. And now I have a back button that I can go back to the first view with. Now, <clears throat> if I were going to put controls on these and manage these as view controllers of views, then what would I need? My first view controller only doesn't really refer to an object that actually exists right now. Uh, it's, uh, it's not being instantiated. What I would need to do is make, I'm sorry, what I would need to do is make this first view controller point to, instead of UI view controller, I could make it point to view controller or use view controller as its class. And now this view controller would be pointing to this view controller class. And then I could set up a second view controller class and make this uh, view uh, files owner point to a new view controller class. And we'll be doing that a great deal in uh, the units uh, that are coming. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this navigation controller without a storyboard. And you'll see it's a great deal more difficult. Uh, one last thing I wanted to show you is the app delegate remains clean in the storyboard approach. In other words, we're still not building anything into the window. You know, when, when we do a storyboard, uh, the compile time piece takes care of building the storyboard into the window. The <clears throat> when we do a nib file, we have to do things here in the app delegate as we did when we looked at the empty application uh, to get that view controller's view to be displayed in the main window of the application. So as I said in the next uh, video, we're going to be looking at putting a navigation controller into a nib setting. Thank you very much.